The truth needs to be told regarding the announcement made by Mr. Hong during the second service on August 6, 2023. Hong has sinned against God and men by defaming the founding pastor's reputation by claiming the headquarters, where he spent his entire life, is a den for Tobiah and a hotbed of illegal corruption. To benefit their own interests, Hong justified breaking the headquarters windows and trampling the property while wearing shoes. It was the founding pastor who trusted two evangelists, MJ Kim and OJ Wu, and had them work at the headquarters and ordered them to continue to manage the headquarters after his death. Nevertheless, Hong is daring to condemn the founding pastor as an ignorant person who ordered thieves to guard the headquarters through this announcement. While secretly stealing almost 100 billion Korean won of church funds, two sons offered evangelist Kim and Woo hush money of 860 million Korean won. It is Hong's intention to incite the suspicion that the two evangelists have somehow stolen foreign currency and jewelry that the founding pastor had given them in recognition of their hard work. However, by falsely inciting this, the interim moderator's side is trying to cover up its theft of nearly 100 billion Korean won of church funds. Hong stated that the valuables and money of evangelist MJ Kim belong to the church, and so they should all be reclaimed. In accordance with this logic, all of the money and valuables that the sons have taken from the founding pastor's office are also church property and must be returned. The funds raised by the congregational meeting can be used for petitioners of the congregational meeting. It should be noted that the 19 ministers and evangelist MJ Kim are all petitioners of the congregational meeting and are eligible for assistance from other petitioners. Those on the interim moderator's side, who are threatening the livelihood of many ministers and their families by failing to pay them salaries, are they bad people? Or can those who are helping people in danger of losing their livelihood be considered bad people? As far as we can tell, only the interim moderator's side is unsure of the answer. They are covering up their astronomical theft with their palms to the sky, and even inciting the destruction of the founding pastor's headquarters and church sanctuaries. Eventually, the evil nature of the interim moderator's side will be revealed. This is the truth of Pyongyang regarding Mr. Hong's second service announcement on August 6, 2023.